Strictly Come Dancing returns to BBC One this weekend and viewers will be left on the edge of their seats during the semi-final. For the first time this season, the remaining couples will be taking on two dances in the ultimate test of stamina. Professional dancer Gary Edwards said the couple will need to bring something big as their routines have become a little samey. EastEnders actress Rose Ailing Ellis continues to wow the judges with her effortless performances on Strictly. During the quarterfinal, she left everyone open-mouthed with a brave and daring move that saw her suspended in mid-air for a split second. The panel said she continues to make history as she brings something unique to the floor each week. Yet professional dancer and judge, Gary Edwards, believes the couple needs to bring something more for their semi-final performances. Speaking to Express.co.uk, the Dancing with the Stars expert said she was still a frontrunner but felt her routines were lacking spark. Speaking about the remaining contestants, he said, I think a lot of them have stopped improving. It was a great week in the quarterfinal, but they have all reached a really good standard, and I don't think anyone upped it. Apart from Reese Stevenson as he gives it 150%, and this week it worked for him. I think Rose, even John Waite and AJ Adudu, I just felt like they have all plateaued. Opening up specifically about Rose, he said a routine was not one he would be keen to watch again. He said, it's just so annoying, Chess got better and better and is still so incredible. And as a couple, they are so brilliant, but I didn't watch it and think I want to see it again. I didn't feel that. Everyone has reached a really high level, but I don't think anyone is really pushing except Reese. Rose and Giovanni are so together, but it's a little bit the same. I'm not seeing the taking it up a notch. It's fabulous but flat. I adore how great a couple they are but I don't think wow, that was an amazing dance. For their performance, they danced the American Smooth to This Will Be, An Everlasting Love, by Natalie Cole. Body language expert Darren Stanton said on behalf of Betfair Casino, ahead of this week's dance, Rose seemed to have lost confidence in her ability and her scores had taken a hit in the last couple of live shows. There appeared to be a noticeable distance between her and Giovanni that we haven't seen before while receiving their feedback from the judges this week, possibly a result of her previous nerves. However, the pair not seeming as close clearly didn't impact on their performance as Rose expertly bounced back. She and Giovanni were perfectly in sync during their seamless routine as they upped their game ahead of the semi-final, with the pair topping the leaderboard in joint first place on Saturday night. During the semi-final, they will be switching things up with an Argentine tango to a Eva Risto Cariego by Eduardo Rivera. Their second routine will be a waltz to How Long Will I Love You by Ellie Goulding. Following her performance last week, Rose took to Instagram to share her excitement. She said, I cannot believe I am in the semi-final. Where has the time gone? Thank you for all your love and support for Giovanni and I. Now I am ready to learn two new D-A-N-C-E-S. Arg. Giovanni took to his own Instagram account to call his partner a superstar. Rose is now at odds of one-fifth to lift the Glitter Ball trophy in the final, followed by TV presenter AJ Adudu.